hello, hi. Give it up again for Nothing But Thieves, and then we're going to take some questions. So if you have a question, just raise your hand. I promise I will make my way around to everybody. Don't, don't rush, everyone. Don't rush. All right, here we go. Just need the first person to start it off, right? All right, so when you guys are in the writing process, whether it's at home or on the road, um, how do you guys go about doing it? <laughs> um, it's kind of a, a mixed thing, really. There's no set routine. We you can start with a musical bit, a lyric, a melody, and we just kind of come together and hash it out. Sometimes it turns out really bad, really bad, and then sometimes it's all right. So do you just collectively write your songs? Do some of you individ yeah. like do you individually put stuff together? Or everything's from the three of you. Yeah, sometimes like Joe will bring something in, I'll bring something in, or we'll just or don't want to have a riff start, and we'll just. Go at it together. It's fun. Does anybody else have any questions? I know you do. Look, you're eyeing me right there. Don't I be shy. That. All right, here <coughs> we go. What are some of your musical influences? Hmm. Do you want to take this one? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Hello. Um, we all come from like a classic rock background. Um, like the first bands we were listening to were like Led Zeppelin, ACDC. Um, and then, kind of a bit further along the way, um, Joe actually introduced me to like Radiohead and Jeff Buckley, Sam and Connor, and they're, you know, a big influence for us. But it's kind of any band that are taking rock music and doing something slightly different with it. Um, so, more recently, bands like Arcade Fire, Kasabian, Tame Impala, um, band called Everything Everything, UK band. Um, and, yeah, just like I say, any, anyone that's putting their own spin on it, that's quite a big inspiration for us and we try to do that in our music as well. Does anybody else have a question? I do. Where's the weirdest place you've ever heard your song? Subway. Subway. <laughs> that was quite weird. And you probably, did you like just want to tell them like that that's me or did you want there was to no, I, then, there was no one else in there apart from the guy and I, the guy couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. Oh, no. <laughs> we, um, <laughs> we were in South End where we live, where we're from uh -huh. in Essex. And we were filming a South End documentary, and some car came past, listen, like we were listening to Itch, so we all freaked out. We were like, this yeah, is the weirdest thing ever. You know, we never heard anyone else listen listening to it in the car right. going past us. That That's cool. awesome. Anybody else have any questions? What are your thoughts on the band you're touring with right now? Love them. I'm such a big fan of Mute Man. Have you seen them puke after their performance? Because I did one time. You saw so them they puke get, after. Well, they get so intense because, okay, so does their drummer still like electric? Yeah, tape? yeah. So before Mute Mouth plays a set, their drummer will tape his, his <laughs> headphones to his head because they get that intense. I don't know if you've seen them I perform before. Them and then at the barbecue, I don't know when they played the barbecue, several years ago, their lead singer ran off the stage and just vomited everywhere. Yeah, I can he imagine. Just, he just went so hardcore that he just puked. I didn't know if that was like a normal thing or if I had witnessed something special. Well, I think he, he definitely jumps around the stage like a mad yes. man. And I, can, I don't know, he might have had a, a bad tummy or something. Who knows? <laughs> Absolutely. Does anybody else have any questions? Ask us anything you want. Oh. Silly as you like. So besides the world famous State Theater tonight in uh, St. Petersburg, what is one venue that you hope to play one day? Well, we're playing the, um, the O2 in England with Muse um, in like a month, right? Yeah. So we're pretty, as you say, stoked. Um. <laughs> what would you say? What is your word for stoked? Yeah, that's right. British. Okay. Yeah. Cool. cool. <laughs> Anybody else have any questions? The sillier the better. Oh. Dom, how do you style your hair so amazing? I actually haven't even showered today, so <laughs> that's the biggest compliment I could have received. I actually stink. Thank God you're so far away, because oh my, oh my God. Um, the reason Connor has to stand away from the mic is because I actually smell so bad. Um, it's a multiple sort of, you know, it's a, it's a blow dry. Um, it's a blow dry thing. Multiple products. I can't really give it away because a few secrets. Wait, but wait, I finished. Oh, sorry, gone. How have you not asked Joe? He's the one with Goldilocks. Come on. <laughs> no one compliments me on anything because I'm lapping this up right now. Yeah, what else you got? <laughs> oh, question over here. I'm running, I'm running. Hopefully this Keep this, this away from me, it's dangerous. How did you guys meet or like how did you like form your band? Like, Joe, do you want to take this one? Might as well. yeah. Tinder. T Tinder. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> that would that would be that's a good that that's so a good fun. story. We should do I'm that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, me and Connor went to school together, uh, so we've been in a band for nearly ten years now. Yeah. Uh, and Phil, are they here? Yeah, yeah he is. He's, he's hey, the phone at the back. Phil is Dom's cousin. Hello, mate. Dom's Hello. Phil's cousin. <laughs> and uh, Price used to open for our band with his old band when our drummer quit on us. Took him. Poached him. Poached him, yeah. And then, that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. How, how do we know you? I met through you at Sounds ominous, oh, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <She's still dead. laughs> <laughs> there you go. Have you got any questions, you two? I've got another one. Go are on. the, you guys are talking about Tinder. Are there any social media platforms where you guys are from that we haven't caught on to yet? It's not. It's not particularly our thing. Like Did we we, we do our best. <laughs> 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 we have Grinder. <laughs> we're, we're on that. <laughs> I got a story for you. I won't name names. There's a member of our band, and I won't, again, I won't say names because it's not fair. Quite good to guess who it is. You'll be able to tell by the brightness of their face. Um, but one of our band members met a girl on Tinder, and their first date was house hunting together. Oh. They went to look for a flat together on their first date after they met on Tinder and talked for a week. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's <laughs> like, and then subsequently moved out, what, a month later? Yeah. Is that, it's not me. Like, I'm not. That was. <laughs> That wasn't a question and an answer, but I just want to see who you think it. Oh, just thinks to yourselves it is, but it's quite funny. There's so there's a little Tinder story I for you. I love that. Yeah. Does anybody else have any questions? You, c you don't need the mic. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> if there's any band out there that you could tour with, who would it be? Yeah. Active. <laughs> Radiohead, Foo Fighters, Biffy Clyro. There's the list is endless. You couldn't pick one. There's too many. To be honest, Mute Math, um, I hadn't heard of before. They're not as big in the, the UK, and I hadn't really heard of them, but um, I'm so glad we got the opportunity to tour with them because I wish I'd heard of them before because their music's amazing, and if you haven't listened to them, you should definitely check it out. They're such a talented band and such a lovely group of people. They're, they're our favourite band since Corbett. Yeah, definitely. On the opposite side of the spectrum, which band would you never want to tour with? <laughs> I like asking the hard-hitting questions. <laughs> Duran Duran. Duran Duran, no, I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's I'm gonna just love them. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to think of. Uh, oh, it's a bit horrible. It's a horrible question, oh, isn't it? It is. Alphabet. Alph no one knows them here. <laughs> it's a terrible English duo. <laughs> Swedish. Right? Are you Swedish? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, I've got. I've got no one. I don't want to offend Coast. anyone. That's okay. There's, oh, Coast. there's a band called Coast in the UK. They're just tripe. That means dreadful. I, I wouldn't even say that in the UK, so I don't know why I've said that. Oh. Shout out to Coast. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching, see you back in England. <laughs> Does anybody else have any questions? A couple more. See, now we're loosening up. That's what we needed. How do you go from like a small band at home to where you are now? Sorry? Plain. <laughs> but like do you like do you play like other bands or do you like how do you get your music out there? I guess. It's been a long, lengthy process. There's not like one, so I'm laughing at my own joke. Um, we're going to put this down. Um, yeah, so we, we started this band, must have been like four or five years ago, and the first two years were just writing. It was a bit painful because we are obviously musicians and we wanted to play live, but we came to realise pretty quickly that nobody wants to hear rubbish songs live, so we spent a lot of time kind of sitting in our garage at home learning how to write songs. So the first two years of our career was doing that, then when we felt comfortable with it, we started releasing things like in sort of like we did an EP first or that sort of thing. And then we started playing shows and it's been built from the ground up really gradually. It's always a bit daunting, like we would never want to sort of go from down here to like up there. We're much more like take things at our own pace and let it happen as it comes, you know. So we've been really thankful that, you know, it's been a gradual, gradual sort of thing for us. Do you still want to be doing questions right now? I'm, I'm okay, loving it because they don't questions. talk to me, really. Okay. So, you know, That's if, you've if got there's anything, more questions, I just want to make yeah. sure that you guys just are Just personal stuff. Okay, let's How do are it. you? you more good? stuff. I'm good. I'm yeah, good. Cool. How are you? Yeah, I'm not bad. Okay, except you didn't shower today. No, but you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm good, though. We've got kind of good at masking, not the smell. How do you mask that? Because, like, when you guys tour, you go, I would imagine if you're, like, on a bus, it, that's not the most comfortable position to 
shower and like no. how, what are your tricks for getting by a couple of days uh hugo <laughs> boss endorsement <laughs> i guess no i don't know you've got some tricks yeah legit we've got tricks same trick really we you you put a show out for on for literally the 45 to an hour you play take it off as soon as you get off stage so it doesn't smell too much and you put your, your other stuff on so the show stuff always stays pretty fresh we did one tour no actually yeah he, he sweats like a beast um <laughs> We did one tour where you ended, up, you two ended up doing boxer roulette. Is that right? Your, oh, yeah. Or what do you call them? Oh, yeah. So you literally just be like, yeah, all right. Yeah. So, oh, sorry, it's a horrible description. It's, there. it's like bad enough doing the smell test, but when you've got to kind of, you know, go in and just, you know, you're holding them like that. You don't even want to hold them with your hands. But um, that's after like a lengthy tour. We've been quite fortunate that we've had, you know, we went to a laundromat, which is a thing here apparently. That was an experience. Thanks for that one, America. That was good. <laughs> Awesome. Does anyone else have any questions? Here we go. Sorry, I don't have any really funny questions. But have you found it harder to break out in the UK or in America? <laughs> we, we haven't broken out here. And we haven't really broken out in the UK. Um, go on, you got this. Um, I think UK was the longest like slog that we did. It did, did take us like four years to get anywhere. Um, I think once you're kind of a little bit established in the UK, it kind of makes it a little bit easier over here. I think, I don't know, British bands are just cool, aren't they? So, um, But yeah, I, think, I don't know. I think um, we've been really fortunate in that we just, things kind of came to us. Like, I think we spent so long writing. It's like, it's a, Dave Grohl did like a speech at um, South by Southwest, he like keynote speech, and he was saying like, it's literally as simple as you have like really good songs, you got to be a really good band. Like, like, it sounds simple, but if you really nail it, I, I honestly think that's that the key. So, yeah. Any go. more questions? Oh, another one over here. What's the craziest fan you had to deal with so far? Yes, yes, that's a good question. <laughs> My mom's pretty intense. Craziest <laughs> fan. Um, I don't know, really. I haven't had too many bad stories. In Jap this isn't sp a specific fan, but we've recently had a bit of success in Japan, which is amazing for us because it's a ridiculous country. If you've ever been there, it's really, really, really good. But um, it's the first time we were touched down at the airport and we come out and there's fans waiting for us. And they come out with all these wacky gifts of weird Japanese traditional stuff. Like they had face masks that you put on and they were like the kiss uh, makeup, <laughs> like, which, is, which is great. So you look like Gene, yeah, Gene Simmons' moisturiser. It was great. Um, the other thing they did, I don't know, it's hard to describe, I don't know what they're called, but you know, like, at a party, I don't know why these are fun, but you blow into them and they extend and yeah. blah, blah, blah. That sounded quite sexual, it's not. Um, and um, we, basically, they gave us a, a helmet of them with loads coming out the top and a tube, and you blow them and they all extend. <laughs> and it sounds stupid, but it gave us hours of fun, I swear to God. We've still got it at the house, and we're like, what should we do tonight? Yeah, let's do the, let's do the blower thing. Um, <laughs> So yeah, Japan has got some pretty interesting stuff going on. There's also vending machines there that you can buy used women's underwear. So, you know, <laughs> save some spare yen for that. Oh my God. <laughs> or just come into our suitcases. <laughs> Does anybody else have any questions? I mean, I feel like I want to wrap it up on that. That was a really Yeah, that's cool. Let's go out with a bag. Let's do pictures. So thank you again to Nothing But Thieves. Thank you so much for making time for Cheers, us on a you. Saturday.